That didn't work out. All right, guys, this is Matt Hall with SimpleCopter.com. Today we're going to uh, be showing you a motor that we just got in the mail today. It's a Sunny Sky 2208 um, 1260 kV motor. I uh, bought this with the idea of using a three cell lightweight pack, a little 1300 milliamp pack. Um, I think it was 13 bucks for the pack. Um, the idea was to try to build as light of a possible as possible of a copter um, and see how it flew. And uh, the uh, other difference we're making today is we're using the Gem Fan 845 props. Um, got those from Got Heli. Um, just a shout out to that guy. He is fantastic. He, I had these props before I could spit. Um, so uh, I think I ordered them on Thursday and got them on Saturday. It was crazy. Either way, good guy. GotHeli.com is a great, great company to mess with. Um, the uh, other thing we're changing out a little bit today is we're going to be using this uh, this uh, Turnigy or the S90 Metal Gear Servo from uh, Hobby King. I got it from the USA one. It was like four dollars and ninety nine cents. But it's also shorter. You can see how much clearance I got here with the uh, thing. An HS82 was was just not going to work. It was going to it was going to hit the motor. Now, granted, if you have an HS82 and you want to try this motor, you can always put the servo underneath and drive it from underneath. It might get smacked a little bit on a tail boom strike, but it probably won't. But um, so you can do that. We're going to be using uh, flash speed controllers today, the 30 amps. I bought some 20 amps to try them out, but they haven't got here because I'm waiting on Hobby King China to get them here, and that's a. Uh, I'll probably be dead either way. Um, KK2 board, flash with the 1.5 software, so it's got the good auto level on it. Um, so I'm going to take it up and fly it for you. I had took the back off my uh, GoPro case because uh, I had the soundproof, uh, waterproof one on there, and I knew you couldn't hear me, so the camera might jiggle around a little bit. So right, here we go. We're going to put the hat on, grab the radio, and hope to God this thing works right. First thing you'll notice is dead quiet. You can carry on a conversation while you're flying your copter. Um, and the one thing you'll notice right away is it's windy. And these props do catch wind a lot worse than the direct drive props, so that's the only downfall I found about them so far. But as far as power, it's pretty nice. And another nice thing is these things come down, I'm going to say it comes down relatively flat, but we'll see what happens here. So it doesn't do the jiggle thing that my other ones do for some odd reason. And, uh, nice and quiet um, I like it on three cell I got a seven and a half minute to eight minute long flight with it just kind of hovering around and just kind of flying around and, and goofing off um, on a 2200 three cell I got 13 minutes of hover time flying around goofing off stuff I'm not talking about you know gassing at full throttle and running around but just your average flying you know it definitely has a longer flight time than my direct drive props I usually use um, a lot quieter. I'd like to say I like it quieter, but I don't. I like it noisy. Um, that's probably why I put it in getting trouble with the neighbors. But either way, um, I really like them. I, I mean, it's a nice setup, and especially when you, you're trying, trying to find some, uh, you know, motors. Right now, it's like impossible to find. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, uh, it's impossible to find motors um, for the 2212s that I like to use. I just can't find them. Uh, EP Buddy's out of them, and. Uh, Let's do a double flip. That's nice. Do a triple. Yeah, that was close. And yeah, the neighbors aren't going to be uh, pissed about this. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like them noisy or quiet? I brought one of my other copters out here to kind of do a comparison on. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a 2200 on it and fly it with a 2200. And you can kind of see how it, how it performs without the, uh, the extra weight of the 2200. And honestly, I didn't see a whole lot of difference on the 2213 as far as performance goes. So I'm going to throw the 2200 on real quick, which is in my pocket, which is not where you're supposed to keep your lipo, but either way. Let's undo that. This on here, move it back a little bit so we have some better CG, and that's probably a bad idea. Let's move that out of the way. 
So now we're flying on a 2200. It's a little heavy, you can feel it a little bit, but it's not a big deal. My hat is slipping down my head with the way this GoPro, so let me put it on. Probably would have been better on auto level, but... Again, throttle. It's full throttle, 50 feet, 75, 100 feet. And that wind's getting it. Coming in, coming in hot. So uh, that's the uh, that's a three cell 2200 on it. Still nice, uh, 12, 13 minute long uh, flight I got out of it. So it's pretty impressive. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just for the craps and giggles throw a four cell. Oh, by the way, these motors are stone cold. I mean, not even a, a hint of heat on them at all. Um, doing what I just did. So the four cell is a different story now. It's a uh, it's a bit more powerful, and we might break something. But we like to do that here at Simple Copter. So, if this thing smokes, then the review's over. And if it won't arm, because I moved it while I was plugging it in, then it won't arm. Alright, should be happy now. Alright, this is for sale, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't like it. It doesn't go up much faster. It definitely is a turd and weighs a bunch. And it does bounce pretty good though. It's like the motor's screaming, no! So I don't know if these are really designed for four cell or not, but we're gonna gasp a couple times. We're gonna bring it down and see what it feels like. It's kind of the way I test my motors. That's about one more, do one more full throttle up. And then I'm gonna catch it. And feel it. All right, you ain't gonna blitz, but it's literally maybe warm enough that you would possibly drink it if it was coffee, but you probably would not. But almost no heat at all, guys. <coughs> so that's kind of how I test out my motors. I know that the manufacturer says, okay, this is only good for three cell, but you know, you can put a four cell on it, gas it for five seconds feel it if it feels hot or warm you know go to 10 seconds to 20 seconds to 30 seconds full throttle <coughs> and then you know if they're all coming down they're not terribly hot it's okay you know it's it's, it's not gonna it's heat that kills motors it's not voltage so um that's on four cell just to give you a little comparison i'm gonna throw the uh this other copter up real quick on um the hell is it there it is I'm gonna throw this up on a 1300. With this is the standard 22, uh, 2212 motors that I like to use, and the GWS flat uh, DD props, the direct drive props. And uh, honestly, I've never done this before. All right, it's gonna be because it's, it's used to four cell, but you get the idea. So this is on full throttle. So it still goes up pretty good. It's going to be annoyingly beat, but see how it kind of floats around and kind of flutters or, or when it comes down, it's kind of wishy-washy a little bit. It's not bad. You probably can't tell. I'm, oh, sorry. But, um, so this is not bad, even the direct drive on the, on the 2212. So I guess what I'm trying to say is everybody's concerned about these motors. you got to have whatever I'm flying or whatever, you know, you hear somebody else is flying is, is the way to go, but... That's annoying, I gotta kill that. Um, it's just not the case. You can, any motor with the basic specs and weight is probably gonna be okay. You know, some are built, bit, crap, okay. Some are built better and some are built worse than others. Um, the Sunny Sky is probably by far the best built motor I've ever seen. Um, I like the RC Timer 1300s. Um, little 1099 motor, it's not a bad motor. Um, I flew with those for the longest time and uh, you know, as long as it's basically in the, the kilovolts that we're kind of using, the, the KV, you should be okay. Turnigy makes one, and um, that's kind of in our kilovolt area, the 1300 area. I think it's a 2830 or 2628. Um, what the hell is this truck? Okay. Replug it in. But either way, um, you know, don't get too scared on motors. I mean, what really makes these things fly great is the flash speed controllers. And the uh, and the board with the 1.5 uh, 
software. Why Hobby King has not gone to the 1.5, I have no clue at all. Um, it's unbelievable. It'll, it'll, it'll correct. This is on self-level. And it's actually on slow self-level. I actually turned the self-level down to 50 instead of 100. It usually would jerk it right back. But um, the 1.5 will do that. I'm going to have some boards eventually on my site with the 1.5 on it. But between the that and the speed controller is what makes these things fly so darn good. But this is a winning combination, I think, with this motor and the speed controller. The servo, I don't know. It, it'll either last or not. It looks like it's shaking a little bit back there. So, you know, it might burn out quick. It might not. I might need to put a little more servo filter on it. But um, the one thing about these props is they do not like wind. I mean, I'm getting a little wind now, and it's starting to kind of get uglier. Not bad, but you know what I'm saying. The direct drive props, you don't care about wind. You just, if you're in a real super windy environment, stick with those props. These are more efficient. The uh, the uh, slow fly type props that you can get from uh, from um, gotheli.com. You know, they're and these are just the plastic ones. They're not the carbon reinforced. It's just the plastic, um, straight up plastic. Two bucks, I think, for a, a pair of them or something like that. It's not bad at all. So, um, you know, this is a a winner. I think. I mean, I really in, enjoy the the way you can flip it around. And uh, even though it's too quiet, I can hear the motors uh, whine a little bit, which I'm not used to hearing that. So, um, I think we are uh, got a winner here. And my arm's also sliding back slowly, too. Yeah, it is. So, got to keep that bolt tightened up. Right there, bolt. And I'm bad about not doing that, so, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. So... Either way, I think you uh, you guys can look into this motor. I think it's a great little motor. And um, it's again, it's the Sunny Sky uh, 2208. It's the X version, but I think the Angel version, which is like 14 bucks, would probably be fine too. Um, you know, I wish I could have checked it out, but they, they sent me the wrong one, so I'm kind of glad. It's also got the bolt-on prop adapters. And, um, you know, again, don't go crazy about the bolt-ons. They're, they're great to have, but they are not the end of the world because uh, um, I, I almost never had one of the, the collet type, the ones that just kind of clamp onto the shaft. I almost never had one of those come loose. So, that's it, guys. That's... Yeah. Okay. All right, before I uh, get going here, I'm going to throw the case back, back onto this camera and... Uh, so... Let's put the uh, GoPro up on. This is going to be with the 2200, the Sunny Sky 2208s, and carrying a GoPro camera. Let's see if it'll do it. And sorry, it's going to get real quiet when I close this case up. Okay, I wouldn't say it's optimal to carry a GoPro, but it definitely will carry a GoPro. It took a little bit of a of a push at the very end there to get it out of the uh, the fall from the sky, but uh, definitely will carry a GoPro. I wouldn't say it's quite as good as uh, what I normally fly with it, but I uh, hope that answers your questions. Thanks, man. That didn't work out.